Hello friends, good morning. Miss Heather here. All right, let's start off with our good morning song. Good morning friends, good morning friends, good morning friends, I'm glad you're watching today. All right, before we read our new story this week, let's say our church words. Here at Unitarian Church, we are people of open minds, loving hearts, and helping hands. Good job! Today our story is called Counting Crocodiles by Judy Sierra and illustrated by Will Hellenbrand. Oh, look at that monkey! I hope he gets out of there. Counting Crocodiles. On an island in the middle of Syllabobble Sea lived a clever little monkey in a sour lemon tree. She ate lemons, boiled and fried, steamed and sauteed, pureed and dried. She ate lemons till she cried. I'm all puckered up inside. And if you look closely, do you see the little alligator eyes in the ocean? <clears throat> then across that sea so wide, a banana tree she spied. How delectable, she sighed. I would love to take a trip across the syllabobble sea and carry back a stack of sweet bananas from that tree. The banana tree way over here, and the monkey's way over here on the lemon island. The syllabobble crocodiles thought they were truly cool, and they looked upon those waters as their private swimming pool. They appeared to be quite vicious, feasting fearlessly on fishes. Oh, look at, they're eating all the fishes. But the monkey was suspicious, and the bananas looked delicious. So she climbed atop her tree and cried, I wonder, are there more crocodiles in the sea or monkeys on the shore? One crusty croc who chanced to hear her snorted. It could not be clear that lurking just below the waves are crocodiles galore. Why, head to tail, we'd reach across the sea, the reptile roared. With those words, he disappeared into the dark and salty sea and brought back his entire crocodilian family. What? Just look at us. I have a hunch. You've never seen a bigger bunch. Later be our guests for lunch. We're all lined up and waiting. Monkey, will you count us, please? That's a lot of crocodiles. Let's see if I can count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen crocodiles. She counted one crocodile with a great big smile. Two crocs resting on rocks. Three 
Crocs rocking in a box. Four Crocs building with blocks. Whoa, they're doing so much stuff. Five Crocs tickling a fox. And six Crocs with pink mohawks. Seven Crocs juggling clocks. And eight Crocs in polka dot socks. Nine Crocs with chicken pucks. And ten Crocs dressed like Goldilocks. The crocodiles were dancing and converting in the slime. Impatiently they asked, how many of us did you find? With her mouth full of bananas, the monkey scolded, mind your manners. Line up now, crocodiles. I need to count you one more time. That's a lot of crocodiles. She counted 10 crocs dressed like Goldilocks, nine crocs with chicken pox, eight crocs in polka dot socks, seven crocs juggling clocks, and six crocs with pink mohawks. Crocs building with blocks, three Crocs rocking in a box, and two Crocs resting on rocks. And one crocodile with a great big smile. Look at that big smile. As the monkey jumped ashore and scurried up the lemon tree, the crocodiles below cried out, how many then are we? Tell us now, the crocs howled. Just enough, the monkey scowled. Just enough to make a bridge across the Scylla Bobble Sea but not enough to catch a clever monkey like me. Oh, look, he made a line. And I think the monkey was able to climb across and get his banana. The end. That was one clever monkey not to get caught by the crocodile. That was such a great story. I can't wait to see all of you soon and read to you at the church. I miss you all so very much. Bye. See you guys next week.